Well, hey guys, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing great. I uh, figured I hit the uh, record button because one, I'm driving, and I know a lot of people doesn't like that, but I'm usually in my element whenever I'm driving. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty happy, and it puts me in a happy place. But I have something on my mind that's been bugging me for a long time. It's going to be hard to talk about because of the subject matter. So if you know you're not into this after seeing the title, um, uh, may, maybe not watch it. <laughs> maybe not. So I've been thinking a lot about death, dying, and what I'm going to leave behind. Now, a lot of people in my family and my friends, especially my wife, will tell you that I have a problem with not caring if I live or not. And a lot of it has to do with probably my self-esteem, um, mainly mental health stuff is, you know, sometimes I don't care about dying. I don't, I don't think about it. It's like, if I die, like, I, I don't care. And there's a lot of people like that. There's a lot of people like that. You know, I know there's days when you wake up, you wish you wasn't alive. I know that. I, I do that all the time. But the thing that's been really bothering me lately, whenever thinking about it, well, one thing is talking about it. That's been hard for me to say anything about it, honestly. But I'm at the point in my life where I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid. But I'm scared of what I'm going to leave behind. What do I mean by that? I got friends. I got family. I have a wife that loves me very much. I don't want them to suffer because of me. Now, things can happen. Things can happen. There could be a freak accident. Um, you know, die in my sleep. Get hit by a meteor or something like that. Anything can happen. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. The way I was living, though, not taking care of myself, and I still don't take care of myself. Still don't. I need to. I need to. Or I am going to die. But my wife, she told me, you know, it hurts her whenever I say these things. Because she would be, she would fall apart without me. And that's how I feel about her. Um, you know, I never thought that... You know, somebody would love me enough to, you know, not want me to die. In my family, like my mother, my brother, and a lot of friends. Some people don't care. Somebody look at me like, I don't care if you die. If you die, you die. It happens. You know, I, as somebody with mental health problems, you know, I've thought about ways of ending myself. But don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, you'll end up in the psych ward. I've uh, been there four times. Not fun. Been in the ICU uh, with a hose down my nose and to my stomach for pumping out all kinds of blood pressure meds. I think it was like 27 pills that I swallowed. It was something like that. It wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. Um, you know, it wasn't until my best friend committed suicide. And it's still after that that I really thought about it. You know, my best friend left behind a wife, kids, a family, friends that no longer be able to grow up knowing their father. Luckily, I I don't have kids. I don't I refuse to have kids. I don't want kids. I took care of that problem with a vasectomy. Uh, some people criticize me for that, but you know, I I can't raise a kid. I clearly can't raise a kid. And the biggest thing was, whenever I said that originally, whenever I got the vasectomy, whenever I said I didn't want kids, it was because I my excuse was, what if I kill myself? I'm just going to leave kids behind. Well, I never put my wife, my friends, and my family in that equation. It was always the kids, the kids. What am I going to leave them behind? And it's not fair to look at. It's not a fair thing to really uh, look at it that way, I guess. You know, like I said, my wife's let me know how she feels about it. 
And today, do I, let me be honest with you. If I died today, it'd be hard for a lot of people. I'd be leaving behind my wife, my family and friends, and my niece and my nephew that I'd do anything for. I just wish I could shake the, sometimes, you know, I know I have thoughts of suicide. I, I, I wish I could shake those things. You know, I, I wish I could not think of doing something awful to myself. But sometimes I can't help it. Sometimes I can't help seeing these things. And like I said, it wasn't until recently where I, just within the last few days that I was like, wait a minute, I'm not afraid to die. I'm afraid what comes after not just in the spiritual sense. That scares me too. That scares me too. Like, what happens? What happens after I die? Where am I going to go? What's, what's going to happen? Is I'm just going to be worm food or what? Should I embrace God? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe that's the answer I need. Maybe I should embrace God. But I'm just scared. I'm just scared, like, of myself sometimes. But now I have somebody, a few somebodies that care about me enough to not want me to die, that wants me to succeed, that wants me to continue pushing. And I hope that's the same for you. I hope that, you know, if you have thoughts of suicide, uh, if you don't care about dying, and you can't stop these feelings. Um, it's hard to get them out of your head. Once they're in there, they stay. It doesn't go away. You know how easy it is to go. You know how easy it is. There's lots of different ways to do it. And it never, never stays out of your head. When somebody you know commits suicide, oh, let, let's just say somebody dies in general. You're usually tore up pretty bad. A suicide is an awful, is a way worse thing, I feel. You know, my grandparents died. I was pretty sad. My, my grandma suffered. Uh, my gran grandpa died in his sleep, basically. He fell asleep on his chair and he died that way. But my grandma suffered for a couple years. And that was hard. That was hard. That was really hard. You know, aunts, uncles. But when my best friend committed suicide, that was a way different thing. It impacted me to the level where I'm still not okay today, even though it's been X amount of years. I think it's been three or four years at this point. I could be wrong. I, I lose track of the time. But it hurt me in a way that I never really thought. And some people say, you know, suicide is selfish. Very, very, it is, it is. It is. It's not just, it's, it's bad. It's bad spiritually. I mean, if you believe in God, from what I've been told, from what I've been told, and I don't believe this, I think depression is the, the, a disease and suicide is a part of that. Um, in some cases, no. Some cases, no. Some people just uh, just go and just off themselves in, in stupid ways. But suicide is pretty pretty up there and the worst things you could possibly do. I mean, it's, it's, it's up there for murder, to be honest with you. I mean, taking somebody else's life unfairly, then taking your own life unfairly. You know, in, in both cases... The family and friends, the wives, the husbands, the daughters, the sons have to deal with the aftermath of that death. It's just really, it's, and I know it's hard, I, I know I'm rambling, I know I'm rambling, I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, and I'm not good with my words, I, I never have been. But this point in my life, I am scared of dying. I'm, I'm afraid to die. 
because I'm afraid of what I'm going to leave behind. And if I don't fix myself, rather it be, you know, physical health, which, look at me. I'm trying. trying. I'm not trying hard enough. But every single day I'm looking, I walk downstairs, I take a handful of pills. I go to bed, I take a handful of pills. I go to sleep during the daytime. I just go to work, go to sleep, that's it. And I don't care about myself. I, I just don't care about myself. And that's a problem. It's a problem because me not caring about myself is what's going to be a catalyst for me doing something incredibly stupid that could be easily maintained if I just worked at it. I've got heart disease. I've got high blood pressure. I've got diabetes. I could die from all that shit. Sleep apnea. I could die from that. But there I didn't care. I didn't really care. I was eating hamburgers, eating donuts, and throwing cake, and drinking all kinds of sugary stuff in a way that is uh, that is self that is a form of suicide in my opinion you know it wasn't like one of the things that really got me was you know watching that movie the whale and watching that man ultimately dying because of his own doing in a way that is suicide because you are able to stop that, but you choose not to. You don't try hard enough. And that's my case, I'm not trying hard enough. But I don't wanna die, guys. I don't wanna die, I wanna be here. I wanna, I wanna stay here. I wanna be able to see 5,000 subscribers, which is probably not gonna happen now. We've been losing the subscribers a lot, uh, which is fun. Bound to happen. I don't know how many people will see this video. But let me go ahead and say this. Let me go ahead and say this. I want you to look what's in your life. What achievements you've had. Who you have in your life. Like I said, wife, family, friends, whatever, husband. Um, and just say, is these people worth fighting for? Are these people worth fighting for? Are these people worth putting in the effort to stay another day? Because I, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. To me, at this point, uh, it's clear, it's clear. It's clear as fucking day that I have something here. I have things here. And there's no stopping me from having the thoughts, these dark thoughts. That's not going to stop. Not a pill in the fucking world can stop that. You can be a millionaire. You can have a jet. You can have a fucking, you know, <laughs> a 1967 Shelby uh, Mustang GT500 Cobra or whatever. Right in your car, in your four-car garage. It doesn't mean you're happy. And it doesn't mean that you're going to think of ending it. Because there's a lot of people that end it like successful people that has everything going for them they still leave they still go they still go they decide to end on a sour note and that's ultimately what it is it's a sour note it's uh goodbyes there's there's no saying goodbye i didn't get to say goodbye to josh i didn't get to say, i didn't get to say but goodbye to him I didn't. I want people to be able to say goodbye to me. I would like to be able to say goodbye to other people. So if you're if you're not afraid of being, if you're not afraid of dying, and like I said, think about the things that you're going to leave behind and what happens next. Um, because I kind of feel that that will bring a lot, uh, a lot to you. 
I think I think it will do me a lot of good. Um, but you know, I, that's just that's just coming from me. Uh, you don't have to believe me. Uh, you know, my track record's not that great, and I'm not good at following my own advice. But maybe, maybe, maybe something I said here. Maybe, maybe if you're having these problems, you maybe you can look at re reassess yourself. Do it. Uh, keep fighting. I love you guys very much. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.